So, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, superpowers in the um, end times. Um, just like A Change Is Coming talked about. She has a full thing. Um, you should look her up. Um, a Change Is Coming talked about how in the, end in the end times, people will have superpowers. And she talked about, you know, the 144,000, all this other stuff. And basically, I'm going to emphasize on that. And I'm just going to verify what she's saying and the dreams, once again, that I've been having. Um, but <clears throat> in the end times, are superpowers a real thing? Are superpowers a real thing? In real life, are they a real thing? This is before you include the Bible. Yes, they are. Um, in the conspiracy realm, in the Illuminati whatever you want to call them. Let's just go with Satan. Satan basically has um, super soldiers that can jump off buildings that they that he's used through mind control, MK Ultra. And through MK Ultra, these people are sick. Through MK Ultra, by torturing people and putting them through trauma and by demons basically mutilating body parts and all this other stuff and through ritual sacrifices and whatnot, they can create people, individuals that can um, type into a certain uh, frequency. No, it's not it. But basically, these individuals can develop superpowers. Um, like, for example, in Stranger Things, the character Eleven is based off of a real uh, government project that went on years ago called Project Montauk. M-O-N, Project, P-R-O-J-E-C-T, Montauk, M-O-N-T-A-T-A-U-K. And you type that up, and basically everything that is shown in Stranger Things is what, ha is what, is what these people do in real life. <clears throat> they torture they torture children and this specifically with children they torture children they torture children and they basically um through a series of events they basically develop uh psychic powers like in stranger things 11 like in like the character 11 in stranger things and um so that's a real thing and then there's another project called Project Superman, the saga of Andy Pedro. Type in that full thing. And on Google, Bing, or whatever the case is, and this is a story about a man, basically, who was, who was under mind control. And they tortured him. They did, did god-awful things to this man. And basically... He was. He said, and the reason why it's called Project Superman is because he literally could jump off of a building unharmed, and he would be just fine. And then later on down the road, he developed psychic abilities, and he was mutilating demon demons, um, reptilians, which are demons, and gray um, gray aliens, which are also demons. Um, I gotta talk about that in later videos. Um, so that's a real thing. And then there's also, um, yeah, there's that. And then um, in terms of the, what was it? A change is coming. She talked about um, the men in black. The men in black, even though um, you might know that term from uh, Will Smith. Um, and then it's also a cartoon. I grew up watching both. Um the real men in black are demons. They're not people. They appear. They they. I guess I'm assuming. I, I did, didn't really do research into this, but from what I gathered, from when I I've been studying this stuff since I was 15. I'm 25 now. Um, the men in black appear basically when supernatural events happen or when they hear weird things. And a change is coming. Talked about the men in black and how they want to uh, collect the 100, the 40, 144,000, their abilities and all this other stuff. And so the men in black are real. The men in black are not a joke. There's actually clips and footage of these people walking in the stores and they do not look human. Um, so there's that. And then um, in terms of like, in terms of the Bible, 
um, people with with uh, supernatural abilities. Moses had supernatural abilities. Moses, you know, and before I even go into like certain characters that I know, um, the greatest the greatest gift, superhero gift, or whatever the case, or whatever you might call it, is faith. Because faith can make you can make you achieve things that. It's not that it's not humanly possible. Like when Moses parted the seas and he let the people out of Egypt, you, you know, you might say that's that's a superpower. That's a real thing that 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 happened. A lot of people. And then there's um, a lot of people in the Bible just through having faith alone. They could see God in person. Like Cain, Abel, um, Cain, Abel, King Solomon, Moses. Um, you know, obviously there's Jesus. Um, uh, those are just a couple few, like off the top of my head, but basically these things are real. Um, and it also taught, and in case of, in the new Testament, it talks about the, um, the two witnesses in which they can breathe fire. So that's a real thing. So in the end times, as far as and so and then also I want to talk about um, in the end times when it, when it comes to Tel Megiddo, uh, Israel, Armageddon, which is the place located in Israel where the final battle is supposed to happen, and God dries up the Euphrates. Literally, on that battlefield, or whatever the case might be before that battlefield. These super soldiers, these psychic children, these people that practice Satanism, their witchcraft, um, all this other stuff, these people will have super abilities. These people already have supernatural abilities, like, you know, that are under mind control. And this is a real thing. Um, so in order to combat that, Obviously, God is going to basically give people superpowers in the end times to basically combat that. And another thing is, um, uh, outside of me having dreams and visions about the men in black, I've also had, um, I said in my previous videos, my, my first two videos, I talk about, um, me seeing the Antichrist and basically how he can turn the rain and the snow and whatnot. It was, maybe it's a metaphor, maybe liter literally, but, excuse me, but that's a thing. And in terms of the Antichrist, the Antichrist is supposed to be a ripoff version of Jesus. It's not supposed to be Jesus, but he's supposed to claim that he's Jesus and all these false gods and these false prophets in different religions like Krishna, the fifth Buddha, um, what is it, the fifth Buddha, Krishna, you know, Jesus, you know, Jesus, Jesus, then, um, then there's a bunch, there's a lot of other stuff, um, I had, I had a pictures and stuff, uh, of the stuff saved on my phone, but regardless, I wouldn't be surprised if that person is a shapeshifter, um, then there's what else is there man this is a lot um then there's i had this dream in which um the lady that talked about um uh change is coming she linked the the link she provided a link for the lady and she was talking about flying cars and the shift change and to not lean on your own understanding and literally right after i watched that video i was giving a dream and a vision in which i was I have it written down. I was, I saw Jesus and I had an out of body experience. Basically, um, I saw Jesus and it was gold again, literally that color. It was gold. Um, and then literally I saw Jesus. He took me by the hand and basically I was in a field. I was in a field on one hand. I was walking with Jesus and there are green pastures, and and since I see God a lot in my dreams, I was holding the hand of God, literally from the, his hand was holding mine while I was walking in the field next to Jesus, and literally on the other side of that 
was another version of Jesus. But on the other side of that field was a Jesus uh, was an individual that looked like Jesus, but he was green at me. He was mean spirited. There was no green pastures. And basically there was no life on that field. And within that same dream, basically. It talked about God told me about. Hold on. In that same dream that Jesus was responsible for enhanced surveillance, God kept telling me these things in my dream, like enhanced surveillance, spying on people. This individual wants to do that. And then that individual is also responsible for putting people in concentration camps, using the military um, to put people in concentration camps and FEMA coffins. And that person... Um, and, and that person also wanted to hone in on people's conversations. And then there was a flying car that um, the lady mentioned. Um, but it was random. It appeared in my dream. And then there were two tornadoes in my dream. And then you go from the, I went from the field to basically an open road. And it's sort of like how you see like in horror movies or in movies in general where there's just like a, a one-way road, um, you know, Sort of like in the country or whatever the case is. And basically, I was on a one-way one way road. And basically, there were two tornadoes. There were two of them. They were directly, deliberately close to each other. One tornado. They were both black. That's also significant. I mean, black tornadoes are not a good sign. And I'm not even a weather person. There are two black tornadoes. And one of those tornadoes, it represented war. It represented the coming war that we're about to go through with all these countries that want to bomb us, with China, Russia, Iran, and all this other stuff since Babylon is falling, America is falling, and all this other stuff. And then that tornado was small. And then the other tornado, basically behind it, basically was 10 times bigger than that. And that tornado represented superpowers. It, rep it, rep it represented the individual. It represented superpowers in general. And from what I previously talked about, sorry for going on everywhere, but basically it represented superpowers and super and people think that this war or whatever the case is, is going to be the most frightening thing ever when literally I remember what uh, when the a change is coming, when she linked the lady that was talking, she said something about lean not on your own understanding, something that God told her. And this is not absolutely not going to go the way that people think this is going to happen. Um, I think I watched a video a long time ago. It was like last month and it was talking about. I think it was talking about um, America was getting bombed and invaded and then literally people, you know, there were zombies and all this other stuff. But then people were developing superpowers and in which case superpowers are going to be 10 times more deadlier than any war because superpowers are going to be connected towards the end times, the are connected towards the 144,000, um, are connected towards the Antichrist, and of course the psychic children and the super soldiers that the government has, that actually all governments probably have, to be honest. Um, so, I have to cross that out, because I talked about this. Um, so, there's that. And, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And I can say this about the whole superpower thing is that things are abs absolutely not going to go the way people think they are. And to even put this into perspective, I want to say this for the shift change video, but I forgot. I, I don't practice this stuff. But basically, look up a card game called the Illuminati card game. I have it in my house. And... That card game, they plot out everything. This stuff is a game to these people. They plot out everything. That card game literally tells you all the stuff that they want to do. Um, I've recently bought it, but they put in newer stuff and whatnot. But look up a card on Google Images or on Bing, B-I-N-G, and type in Illuminati card game and type in interesting times. And it is literally a guy... And a t-shirt with a question mark 
with a question mark on it, and behind him is chaos. And um, if you can, it's a hard thing to understand. I don't have it. That's actually the one card I don't have. Um, but these people know, the devil knows that not everything is supposed to be going through a seven year tribulation period. Not everything is going to go according to plan. It's an, it is absolutely not going to go according to plan. And when you look at that card and when you find a, a, a brief description of that card and you read it, they're ba these people are basically saying that things are not going to go the way that we think that they are. There's, at, there's going to be chaos and everything. It's just not because Change is Coming got a video talking about a shift change and then I got it and a couple other people have been getting it and about a shift change while people being in different places looking different all this other stuff and I see it um, as far as the shift change I see it in ordinary people that I know personally gradually as time progresses and that goes back into um, my previous video of me wearing a crown and all white and whatnot um, so yeah this is absolutely not going to go the way people think it is. Um, we are not going to get raptured like people think we are. And um, that's all I can say. And I think that is it. That is it. So, yeah, that's it. And then I have to do another video about um, the rapture aliens and a fake rapture and all this other stuff. So, yeah. So, um Thank you for watching and you have a blessed day.